inspired to write This Is Not LA because until I moved here in 1998, I thought Los Angeles was all of the cliches that a lot of people believe. I grew up in Northern California, and at least in the 1970s and 80s, the thinking about Southern California was that Southern Californians were silly and materialistic and dumb. And then I moved to New York City, which after the Bay Area is the place that seems to have the biggest problem with Los Angeles. And we thought ourselves infinitely superior to the second biggest city in the US. When I had the opportunity to start visiting a different Los Angeles, when my, some of my friends lived here in my 20s, and I started to get to know some Hollywood historians, Los Angeles urbanists, uh, I edited a book on Los Angeles urbanism, I started to see a really different kind of Los Angeles. This incredibly vibrant, dynamic, driven, ambitious place that was filled with smart people doing great things and all kinds of industries, not just entertainment. In fact, entertainment is a pretty small portion of the overall Los Angeles economy. Not to mention that it's surrounded by natural beauty, far more accessible in a lot of ways than the Bay Area and very much more accessible than natural beauty from New York City. The mountains right here to hike within you know, 20 to 30 minutes, the ocean, the beaches, Griffith Park. This Is Not LA is divided into 18 myths that we debunk about Los Angeles. And there are also eight spotlights that we focused on specific topics. When I was researching this book and working with my co-author, Kate Sullivan, there were a lot of things that we came across that even though we fancied ourselves real aficionados of Los Angeles that we didn't know before researching the book. It is kind of an insider city. You don't walk out your door and experience the city like you do in cities along the European model, like New York, like San Francisco, where things feel more dense and happening and the buildings are exactly where you expect them to be. Instead, with Los Angeles, you kind of need to know your way around to find these amazing pockets and places of interest and to meet a diversity of people who are doing all kinds of different things. One of the things that I'd really like people to take away from This Is Not Los Angeles is really just that Los Angeles is this rich, dynamic place. It is a city on the world level of cities. It is, I think, one of the most interesting cities in the world. Mm -hmm.